morning, Santa Anita. Today is Wednesday, December 2nd, 2009. Please rise for the pledge to the United States of America. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the pledge of the wonderful state of Texas. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And now for a moment of silence. Good morning, Santa Rita. My name is KK, and I am happy to announce that this week there is fourth grade teaming. Also, next week on Monday at 6 o'clock p.m., there will be a Christmas tree lighting and chili supper. So don't eat supper right as your parents pick you up. Wait until 6. Also, don't forget that your air goals are due in 11 days. On December 21st, we are on winter break all the way until January 5th. Well, that's all. Back to you. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feel, and I'm happy again. Good morning, Santa Rita. I'm here to say that this week's weather is going to be super cold. There will be a high in the 50s and a low in the 40s and 30s, with a wind speed of 8 to 16 miles an hour. It will rain just a little in the morning. There will be light snow too. What makes snow? It usually snows when it's 32 degrees or below. It, snow when the, it snows when the temperature is right the, and the moisture, the moisture in the air is right and the wind pattern is right. No two snowpla no, snowflakes appear the same. The biggest snowflake is two inches wide. It snows because the earth needs some water that is icy cold. I'm Jordan Brooks, and that was your Santa Rita weather. Have a nice day. Today we are having quesadillas or beef nachos, French style beans, um, tossed salad, fruit salad, and milk. Good morning, Santa Rita. I'm Amy Rodriguez, and today I have the honor and privilege to interview our principal, Miss Scott. So, how was your morning, Miss Scott? I've had a great morning so far. How about you? Mine is excellent. Uh, who or what inspired you to be a principal? I had a third grade teacher who inspired me to be a teacher. He was a male and he took time to get to know me and help me with the areas that I was struggling with and help me become successful. And since he took the time to care about me, it was a real big influence to become an educator. Just like Mr. Robinson. <laughs> um, have you taught any, taught any other grades? Yes, I've been in education for 16 years. I taught third grade and fifth grade. Then I became an instructional specialist. So out of those two grades, which one was the best, third or fifth? They were both really good grades. You kind of put me on the spot. I like them both. But actually, I enjoyed fifth grade. We did so many extracurricular activities and met all levels of students' needs and just really had a good time. But third grade was fun, too. Other than Santa Rita, have you uh, taught at any of the other schools? Yes, I have. I've taught at Bradford Elementary, San Jacinto Elementary, Fannin Elementary, and then I was an assistant principal at Goliad Elementary. Um, do you say, are you going to say that Santa Rita is better than those schools? Of course I am. Santa Rita is phenomenal. It's amazing the things that occur here. Okay. And what word, how would you describe Santa Rita? 
As I just said, it's phenomenal. And the reason that I say it is, is because the teachers here work as a collaborative group. They're like one big family, and we do whatever we can to help students be successful because they're a very important part of what we do every day. What are your goals being our principal? What I would like to see Santa Rita accomplish is for the campus to be a blue ribbon school. Santa Rita has set a precedent for being exemplary in the district, and one more thing that we could achieve is being a blue ribbon school, so that's what I would like to see happen. Okay, students, remember to say thank you to your teachers and show them your appreciation, especially, especially to our principal, Ms. Scott. Back to you. Great job on bringing pajamas. Great job on bringing pajamas to school for the pajama drive. We we currently have about 40 sets of pajamas. Let's see how close. We, let's see how close to 100 we can get. Remember, we are donating them to Scholastic, which will then put a brand new book with each set of new pajamas and send and send them to the National Pajama Program. Needy children will be getting a wonderful pair of pajamas and a new book to read for Christmas. Please bring pajamas to school by Friday, December 4th. Miss Scott has declared Friday Santa Rita Pajama Day, and, we, and every, everyone can wear their pajamas to school. Instruction does not does much, but encouragement does everything. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Ladies, 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 and What's the first time? What's happening? What's the first time? 